Hello everyone, and welcome to another in the series of TechPlot support videos. We sometimes hear from customers who can't see their contour variables after they loaded their data into TechPlot. For example, I have an Excel spreadsheet, which I'll show you here on the screen with X, Y, Z values, some vector variables, U, V, W, and pressure and temperature. And I'll load that into TechPlot but I might not be able to see my contours. Let's examine the process in TechPlot to see our contours. Let me load that data file I just showed you in Excel and to do that I'll go to File, Load Data File, and I'll use the text spreadsheet loader and find that file and I put it on my desktop and I'll go to that file and I'll search for all the files with the CSV the comma delimited format and I've called the file duckflow CSV open that file the data comes right up in the file as XY line mode these data points are in an I ordered zone that's distributed randomly in the XYZ plane. Let me switch to 3D Cartesian and now I'm going to click to enable my contours. I'd like to see my contours. Oh, and nothing's happening. Well, the reason for that is we have I ordered data in this zone. These plots, the points, are distributed randomly in the XYZ plane. Let's show the data set to examine our data a little more closely. We have one zone, the zone we just loaded from our Excel spreadsheet, the comma delimited data, but it contains X, Y, Z values. So TechPlot read all of our columns in the Excel file, but it didn't know what to do with the zones. We have, as I say, regularly ordered, I ordered data. We can create mesh plots and scatter points for this type of data, but we cannot create contour plots. Light source shading we also can't do, nor can we do stream traces. But in TechPlot 360, we can interpolate this data into an IJK ordered mesh. Then we can create contour plots and other types of field plots with the interpolated data. Let's do that. First, we need to create a new ordered mesh. I'll go and create that from the data file, file menu, create zone rectangular. And I'm just going to give it dimensions of IJK of 25 each. So I'll load that. And you notice also that the X, Y, and Z coordinates, the minimum and maximums for those have been detected because the data are there already. Now click Create. Rectangular Zone has been created. And I'll close this screen. So it puts up a visual representation. We still can't see our contours because we now have to interpolate our data into this new zone. Let's interpolate. There are two choices. And I'll show you. Under the Data menu, Interpolate, we can use Inverse Distance or Krieging for this interpolation. Let's use the inverse distance. Now we're presented with a dialog box that lets us choose the source zone, which is our original data, that's zone 1, and interpolate all of the variables, U, V, W, pressure and temperature, onto the new zone, rectangular zone we just created. I'll compute that and you see that it has completed the inverse distance interpolation. And now I'm going to deactivate the first zone because contours didn't show for original data. To deactivate that, I'll go to Zone Style. Zone 1 is the I ordered zone, and I'm going to deactivate that. Close this, and then I'll click Contour. This tells us that we'll 
turn on surfaces for active zones. We want to do that, and there we go. We have our zones showing the contour, now showing the pressure and temperature variables. Right now, we're showing the pressure variable, but I could easily change that, of course, to the temperature variable, and you see that in the background. And we can just start using our contour variable data in TechBot. For instance, I can turn slices on and go through maybe extract information on the slices. So that is a brief demonstration of how to use interpolation to show your contours in TechPlot. Thank you very much for your attention. We hope this video on interpolation has been t helpful to you. And see you next time. Thank you.